since I told you I have a surprise for you, and I do, I have an artist that I talked to last week, and he kept his promise and came through, and he's known as H3, the artist, representing Skate Nation TV. So how's it going? It's going well. Thank you, Rakaya, <laughs> for having me right here at WRFG 89.3 FM. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Well, what are you talking about? That's going to be a reason to be excited because I think you're going to bring back a culture and a style that's been a little bit overlooked. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Um, we are talking about passion for skating. And, yes. um, you know, I do have a YouTube channel, as you mentioned, um, Skate Nation TV with the host, which is me, H3 the Artist. And um, it's, a, a, it's a station that talks about our passion for skating and the culture of skating. And we want to chronicle the lives of skaters and get testimonials. It's informational and educational and, and entertainment. It's, it's everything that you could talk, think about when it comes well, down to, to skating. We're bringing back because, I mean, it's an exercise form. And yeah. it's good for muscle mass and uh, bones and stuff. Yes. And, Absolutely. And stress relief. And you don't have to be, that's definitely stress relief. <laughs> right, right, right. And you don't have to be um, young to skate. Not you at can, all. You can Not be older and skate. Some of the best, that's an interesting point that you made because some of the best skaters out there are people who are uh, 80 years old, 67 years are old. Are you serious? Absolutely. And, I, you know, like for instance, Mr. Bill Butler, you know, he's, he's a legend. Um, in the skate community, he's eighty really? something years old, and he's one of the best skaters out there. And you got Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, what's my man's name? Mr. Marty. He's like sixty-seven, and he really? skates like he's twenty-four. It's it's really? a sight to see. Yeah. So skating is for everybody. Everybody. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, you know, you and I met through one of my colleagues from high school, Skate Man. Yes, the Georgia legendary <laughs> Skate Man. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Awesome. And uh, he's been skating for some years, Absolutely. some decades. Absolutely. Yeah. And I remember going out to Piedmont Park, and mm -hmm. boom boxes, and everybody out there doing their little routine right. and skating and yeah. stuff. It was like fun to watch, yes. you know? Yes. And so now um, we're going to try to talk about this a little bit. Okay. Tell us a little bit how you got involved with this and what it's all about. Awesome. Well, you know, I've always been a skater um, ever since I was a little kid, you know, um, just recreational. And as I started to develop, you know, I started to develop my passion for the arts. I started becoming a dancer and started, you know, doing all kinds of other things with music and singing and playing instruments and whatnot. Um, so skating was always a part of my life, but just recreationally. Um, and then um, I had an opportunity to go overseas and I actually got out of, um, you know, during my college years, I went overseas to work with some kids, you know, because I'm also an educator. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't go on quads anymore. I left the roller skates and went on the inlines. I know a lot of skaters might be, oh my God, but yeah, <laughs> I was on the roller blades, you oh, know. Goodness. Yeah, and, and I liked it so much that I actually spent the net, like 20 years of my life just rollerblading. So I would go to the rinks and rollerblade, and then um, one of the wheels fell off like maybe a year and a half ago. And I put on some quads while they were repairing my rollerblades and I haven't been on rollerblades since because <laughs> I was like, what have I been missing? Now what, are, what exactly what are quads? Quads, that's just what we call roller skates, you know. We got quads, four wheels on each four foot. Wheels. Yeah, okay. so you know. And I didn't know that till a year ago because again, when I got back into the roller culture and skating culture, I learned that it's exactly that. It's a culture, it's a word, a world, and it was it was it blew my mind and it was completely different than when I was like an adolescent or a, a kid. It's like I, I didn't realize that when people wore those shirts that said skate life, they were serious, you know. And I just fell in love with it like all over again. And well, out of that you know, we had the what was it? Flyway <laughs> What was the other kind of one other kind that was uh, out there popular and when when you skated so far that the uh, the metal was going down, then you put them on a cup major little, uh, what was it, a little speed uh, trap or something, you know, to make it work until they just fall apart. That's but right. uh, oh, yeah. I know for a fact that I was really afraid of heels and stuff. And 
when uh, my neighborhood, we used to go to Harbor Hill. Okay. Up off of Perry Boulevard because they had the steepest hill. Mm. You was a daredevil. Right. That's where you went to skate. Right. right. Did you have those um, steel skates that you had to strap around your shoes? Yeah, but I <laughs> see, but I would go. I would make a Z on the lower part of the street and run into the curb right. and then exactly. try it again. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was as far as I went. But uh, yeah, I, I admire skaters and. The, the movie that came with the ATL. ATL, right, yes. It was just amazing watching the skills and yes. people just skating and stuff. I think it's fun. I think it's something that needs to be reinvent. That's one of those reinvent the wheel things. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. um, now that you have this network channel on mm -hmm. YouTube, yes, what kind of things are you talking about in terms of skating? Uh, we, we try to cover everything. Like I said, we do testimonials. Um, I like to talk to the people in terms of why they do what they do, like why do they love skating so much. I always start there and I've grown the channel out of that. It's, it's people love to skate for why, what, what reason, what's the purpose and from there and my hope is, um, is to inspire other people who would want to and you know to be a part of the culture mm -hmm. you know and just like you were mentioning there's there are the people that's been skating all their life mm -hmm. you know I want to do you know research I like to um, talk to the older people so that we can get a sense of nostalgia, you know, because the younger people need to know why skating has survived so long. Like mm -hmm. there, there are so many stories that are there. So the styles that the younger generation are actually practicing and helping to evolve, mind you, that where did it come from? They need to know that there needs to be a bridge and a conversation that happens yeah. so that the culture can be ensured to continue, you know, because that's what happens when cultures and when um, things that we love when it starts to break down you're not having a conversation mm -hmm. alright between the generations and a lot of times the older generations the ones that have been seasoned they don't want to in I guess intrude on the youthful uh, verve of the young but they can teach you some skills but they can teach you some skills some and little tricks that's and right things that they've learned and to also do. learn you're right and also the younger ones can learn the context in which the actual craft came from, yeah. which will enrich what they're doing because it's not always about the trick, it's about the foundations, about the fundamentals, which will help you to become a cleaner skater, a yeah. safer skater, you know, because that's, I mean, but that's the youthfulness and that's why the conversation I've noticed when I'm out there, that's the breakdown. It's like you have the older cats who are like, okay, this is how you stay grounded and how you practice the fundamentals right. and the basics and you learn how to groove and feel the music and right. vibe and actually say something emotionally and mentally. The younger people are just going out there because they're hot in the pocket and they just ready to, they're on fire and they just want to wow you. <laughs> and neither one of them are wrong, but where's the communication, where's the conversation, so that if both could have that conversation, oh my gosh, the culture, it grows, it elevates, and then it goes even longer. And so I found my little niche, niche. In my little niche. <laughs> We're talking with H3, the artist, in case you just tuned in. And this is part of this house culture that we have, but they grew to the music too, and I have been for a very long time. And, um, he is uh, sharing with us this internet channel to talk about. You be mindful that you include health things about what people need to do to prepare to skate. That would be a wonderful Absolutely. Uh, asset to do so they can get prepared to go skating and stuff. Absolutely. It's like a runner that has to e practice and exercise before yes. he runs. So if you do that, then people may not be so afraid to try. That, you know, and that's excellent because we, you know, we are a new channel. We've mm -hmm. been, like, we've been functioning probably about maybe five or six months. Okay. And um, the fundamentals, we like I said, is informational and entertainment. So, you know, teaching the fundamentals, teaching which skates are the best skates, depending on what you're trying to do. Teaching yeah. maintenance, teaching all these things. We do product line reviews. Um, we do. We do Anything that pertains to skating, we give shout outs, we look at who, who the movers and the shakers are That's in the wonderful. skating community, community, whether it's roller skating, whether it's um, skateboarding, whether it's the Special Olympics that deals with skating, we are covering everything. They are, they are uh, I think there was a skate park they just 
open up the board thing mm -hmm. where uh, it costs quite a bit of money, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, is that an extension, would you say, off of skating? Yes, absolutely. Because, you know, like I said, sk like sk skate parks, skating, because right now, extreme sports, that will be considered this extreme sports portion of it. And that's huge. That's like, big. yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's exciting. It's on some next level type of stuff. And, you know, my desire for the platform is to cross pollinate all of that because mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, like again, who's bridging the gap between the skateboarders and the the, the skaters, the roller skaters, oh, and wow. the inline skaters? You know, where's that conversation? Because really, it, it's the same culture. It's the same culture it comes from the same pulse, the same energy, the same uh, desire to express yourself. It's just they've chosen a different instrument, but they all have wheels. Wow. <laughs> you know? I like, I like that. I really like yeah. that. So the other part is that um, uh, Renaissance Production, these are some kids you're working oh, with? Oh, well, I'm glad you say that. Well, Renaissance Production, that's my, oh, my goodness, that's my management team. They are the bomb. They are the bomb. And the Renaissance Kids is a is a, a, a offshoot of that. Those are the babies that are in the wow. management team and they are Can amazing. They do Can they do, they do it all? Yeah. <laughs> they do it all. They are some of the most talented kids you ever want to see, right? Ages ranging from um, spectacular to wonderful. Uh, <laughs> so from, from from like second grade to seventh grade. So what is that wow. like like seven, eight to about what, twelve or so? Twelve. Yeah, yeah. Well, you teach them they can they get on board. That's that's something kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, they, they are um, very precocious children because of the leadership that they have with Renaissance, and they are a wonderful group of kids. Well, um, I'm sure you probably are going to be uh, having it more or less a, a roster or itinerary where people can go and skate because some people all over town go to different skate parks. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's something that we do, like in the news section of the channel, we report on those types of things. And like I said, and, and as we are developing our R&D, you know, um, skate events, uh, parks, whatever it is we can get our hands on, we will we pump it and we promote it because we want the skaters to be informed so they'll know that's how to wonderful. go and, and do their thing, you know. Yeah. Well, we're talking with H3, and why don't you give us all your social media rundown? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can find me on, of course, the Skate Nation. That's the, the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. H Skate Nation TV, and just, you know, also type in H3 the Artist. Mm -hmm. um, my Instagram is H3 underscore the Artist. Facebook is H3 underscore the Artist. And YouTube, Skate Nation TV, and your email yes. is? My email is H3 dot Renaissance at gmail.com. Okay, that, that's great. Well, we, we're going to be talking a little bit. Uh, we're going to get back into the music and stuff and kind of uh, find some other key things we want to talk about. You are in tune to WRFG in Atlanta. That's so right. uh, make sure Atlanta that uh, you support community radio too. We do need your dollars to continue to do the things you are to be a voice. And I was uh, talking to this young man, H3, the artist, and we're going to talk a little bit more about stuff he's doing. So we were sharing some ideas and stuff. So what do you see in the future for this skating activity, sir? Oh, my goodness. I, I think that I, I see a long, prosperous future for the skating culture because, again, there's it's, it's a well-developed culture that I was completely oblivious to. Um, to and you know just researching it skating has gone up and down throughout you know Americans mm -hmm. America's history and um, it has had a lot of staying power you know roller skating so mm -hmm. and now with you know the information age and everything you know it, it, it's a paradigm shift that's going on in businesses and and what I'm noticing is that you know skating is still not it's not just hanging in there it's actually it's evolving, like yeah. the skill sets, 
the things that are actually being uh, communicated to the skaters, the, the risks that they're trying to take, and and, and I in told forms you of some ideas. You need to jump yes, on. exactly, exactly. Like, yeah. and I'm taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to Rakai. That's right. Yeah. Take them notes and take it to the bank. Yes, I mean, but you know, it's I, I see, I just see a resurgence. It's like, um, it's people are passionate and they are flocking there. You know. Um, but it's well, still we will. Things, we need things instead of going to work, going home. Yes. Go to work, go home, go to church, go to work, go to the store, go home, go, go buy stuff for family dollar and all that stuff. Right. And I go found myself home, in Walmart, that trap. Go right. Home. So, what life do you have? I mean, yeah. we used to have uh, bowling night. Yes. You know, folks used to go and get the family to go bowl. And, and different groups would do that, and then we had the, the skating rink, uh, yes. which I'll call now skate parks, right? Well, well, the skate park is you know on the outside, and you can't oh, have the a skate, skate park. park yeah. on the outside. They're on the they're on the outside, but yeah, it's still the rink. It's still yeah. at you know in the roller rink. Yeah, mm -hmm. same concept. Mm -hmm. So but you're there, right. There needs to be a resurgence, or uh, skating needs to be reborn. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah, and and this actually is happening. And that's the thing, it's actually happening and that's what I, I'm realizing, it's, it's there. But sometimes when you're in it all your life, you don't recognize it. You've just always been a part of the wave, but again, it's like I've been reintroduced to it and I remember what it used to be and I'm looking at it now and I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's a completely different it's fun. world. It's I mean, it's, yes. it's a positive energy movie. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> just, just, to the heart, mm -hmm. it is. So you, as an educator, yes, then I think you can definitely take this thing further. Yeah. We, we talked about these yes. things, and yeah. you absolutely, yeah. Put some light bulbs up there. Absolutely, yeah. They're going off. They're going off. And and, Ms. and Rakai, I do want to say this. Um, uh, we are planning to, you know, my team Renaissance. We're in, in Skate Nation TV. We're trying to. We're getting. We're planning to hold an event in July to give back to the Children's Hospital of Atlanta, right. and um, yeah. So and it's going to be con called the Peanut Butter Jam. So yeah, butter yeah, jam. you know, and we, you know, you know, Peanut Butter Jam. The Peanut Butter is the name for rental skates, right? Okay. There's a whole story behind that because I just okay. got some new skates. I broke my old ones. I had to go on my rental yeah. skates until yeah. they came in. So we've made it into a thing. And, okay. Uh, and, um, and shout out to uh, DJ Most High from the Atlanta crew, the Wands, and okay. also SOS and JB Committee, and don't be escape me. Uh, and, and definitely, definitely. Now you got to see the whole thing. Georgia legendary uh -huh, skate man, man. <laughs> absolutely. And all the skaters in ATL and abroad. And just wanna, you know, we want to bring everybody together for a for a charitable cause on on something that took place in the rink that was um, an accident. Me breaking my skates, making a, a comedic drop about it or, or video about it, and it, it was it was so positive and fun that I was like, well, how can we take this and utilize it for service? And it's 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 becoming a thing that we can actually serve somebody with, and uh, okay. I'm excited about that. So well, listen out for that. <laughs> well, look, in, in in parting now, what would you like to leave the audience or the community with in thought about? this new, we're going to call it a new project, Reborn. Right. What would you like to leave with them about H3 the Artist? H3 the Artist, wow, that's an excellent question. One, um, I just want to leave, I want to, when they think of H3 the Artist, I want them to think of um, following your passion. Um, I want them to think about following your passion in a way that is of service to people. Um, and um, don't be afraid to be the best version of yourself mm -hmm. and be multifaceted like don't 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 limit or constrict yourself you know just be everything that God has created you to be and find ways every day to be bolder mm -hmm. about doing those things like be your best advocate and go out there and really just be phenomenal to the world and that's what I'm hoping HD the artist will bring to people because this is only one of many different things that I hope to serve the world with. One last question. Yes. If a person took on the the idea to learn how to skate again, how long basically would it take a person to get some basic skills in skating? One session. That's it. 
it, the the hardest part about learning to do anything is just getting started. Okay. And I've seen skaters who are who, as you're saying, may have never skated or took a long break from skating, come back and get on that wood, and within a session, they have developed, they've grown, and. What I say to them is just keep coming, just keep going. And there is so much love in the skating culture. Mm -hmm. When people see that you're trying to learn, that you want to learn, they'll mm -hmm. come and they'll assist you, they'll help you, and you'll start growing exponentially. But the hardest thing is just putting the skates on and just getting on the floor. Once you do that, the rest will take care of itself. And before we go, can I say a shout out to the Renaissance kids one more time, to Jalen, Simone, and Jasmine Elise. They're awesome. Okay, well, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to come this time of night and share this. Usually what people have to do when they have something very passionate they want yes. to they have to come in at this time of the morning and share with my audience. Yes. But now you're putting a light bulb in their heads of things to do. And uh, is there a number that someone might want to call you? Uh, if not, we could just go with the uh, email and do yes. the social media stuff. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And I, that would be, at this point, that would be the best way to kind of okay. reach us. Because they got several ways they can get in touch. Absolutely. And Rakaya, I just want to say thank you mm -hmm. for all of your You're service, welcome. and um, you know, here at WRFG eighty nine point three FM for allowing uh, people who are passionate to have a voice. Um, that this is a, a different level of commitment to be up here in the wee hours of the morning. Um, I just it's it's a gift that is inexpressible. I just want to say thank you on behalf oh. of H Street Artist and Renaissance. Thank you so much for taking you us. Are so Definitely welcome. appreciate you. Yeah, well thank anytime you. that you've got something going on, who knows, I may follow out right there and be out there myself. Come on, I got you. I don't I don't think <laughs> I'm on. too mature not to try. That's it. Come on, you know, I got you. <laughs> yes. So I uh, thank you for uh coming in and once again I want people to know that you can get in touch with H3 The Artist through Instagram, Facebook, H3 underscore The Artist. YouTube is going to be Skate Nation TV. Yes. And the email is, of course, h3.renaissance at gmail.com. Yes. Well, thank you, darling. We're going to go thank on you. to the music thank you. and right. everything and enjoy. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you are so awesome!